Greetings folks, this video is going to be all about the Finwing X-Bird, which is a unique little FPV platform, 800mm uh, wingspan with a stubby little but wide cord wings and the T-tail as well. You can get it as a twin tractor or single pusher like I have here. You can buy the kit or you can buy it with the electronics and it's uh, remarkably cheap. The way this is set up, it's about 140 US with free shipping, I think, to most places from Finwing or XU Wing as they call themselves now. Anyway, it's EPP, uh, nice and tough with some really, really nicely thought out little touches. Uh, I have my FPV camera in there. That's a Foxier Toothless uh, video transmitter mounted up on here on this nicely provided uh, plywood backing bit there, a little bit of airflow going in there, nylon bolts to uh, hold the hatches down, space inside there for uh, 18654 pack times two, or even a 3300 4S LiPo. It is actually designed to fit the 21700 4S packs. Um, so plenty of battery space there. For a, for a little plane, it can carry a hell of a lot of milliamp hours. And that's what it's designed for. It's designed for long range FPV, long distance, long flights. This uh, back section here uh, is for the flight control board area. And uh, I've got my GPS mounted underneath that uh, hatch there. They do provide a, a little plywood plate that can go side to side to mount your flight control board on. Uh, I'm using a bit of core plast for that there. Couple of holes here for your receiver antennas to come out, but I've got mine sitting further forward because the ESC is hanging around, hanging around right there. They do provide a BL Heli uh, 30 amp ESC without BEC, but I, I thought I was going to do mine line of sight first, so I put in a, uh, a normal standard ESC with BEC. Turns out I didn't need it because I ended up going for the flight control board straight away. You do have to glue in carbon fiber strips for all the control surfaces uh, and on the front and back of the vertical fin as well. And you glue the front and the back of the fuselage together and there are joining spars there as well. The wings are held in by nylon bolts inside, just pull them out. Uh, there's no through body connectors for the electric for the electricals, you could put them in if you wanted to, I suppose, but you just pass the, uh, the cable through there. Uh, you do have to slice the ailerons off, they're joined there. And there's provision for flaps if you want to. Uh, there's sort of a pre-made hinge there. Also provision for rudder as well, that's uh, not glued, this little back section of the vertical fin there, so you could put a rudder in if you wanted to. The electronics are very nice. Um, you get uh, King Max, nice looking King Max digital metal, gra uh, metal gear servos, 13 gram, three of them, and a Sunny Sky 2207 1300 kV motor with uh, 7050 props. Now they'll give you a clockwise motor and a counterclockwise prop. Um, so clockwise motor means that the, th the screw thread goes the other way. I thought that was a mistake to start off with, but uh, I think that's the way it's meant to be actually. So here are all the pieces laid out and uh, it packs down very nicely into this little box here. So easy shipping anywhere in the world, I would imagine. Now, if you have a look on the Finwing website, you can see, a, a, you can download a very, very good PDF manual there that tells you everything, including the amount of throws, which hole to connect into the servo arm, where the center of gravity is. It's, uh, there's some dots here at 55 millimeters, by the way. Uh, my flying weight is 830 grams. That's with the uh, 18654S plus about another 80 grams of lead to get it to, to balance. So that means that you can put bigger batteries in there easily uh, because the, the weight of the motor is down the back there, I suppose. So it's a very interesting, unique looking, practical little FPV platform for good for flight control boards with iNever or RG Pilot, of course. Uh, industrial strength metal uh, control horns and it comes from the same people that bought you the Alba Bird. The Alba Bird has almost a cult following now. It's a very very popular plane, works really well. 
they really seem to go their own way. Anyway, it's time to go out for a fly and uh, see how this little thing performs. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's do a little uh, line of sight flight first. Uh, I have done some flights with it and uh, flies very nicely. Uh, it's a bit very, very nimble on um, uh, manual. Uh, so it's, it's much better on acro. But anyway, let's go. We're starting off in acro. quite small so it is going to disappear into the sky backing off probably a third throttle there probably does fly better a little faster but uh, it's a cool looking little plane yeah it's cool I might just do a uh, a manual roll so I can get the uh, roll rates that is pretty quick and we'll do a loop as well this is a bit slower but yeah would rather fly it on acro with a little bit of stabilization look at that that's beautiful cool little plane I wouldn't say it's a beginner's plane at all it's a bit fast and nippy for that uh, but just a brilliant uh, INAV platform or a flight control board platform I think all right so position hold. put into position hold so it's sort of kind of wiggling a bit there and current about uh, four, five, four and a half amps, <coughs> and that's sort of cruise throttle. We can fly around on about two amps. Isn't that brilliant? That's sensational. It's going to be so efficient. I have a confession to make. I actually uh, did all of this yesterday. Did a 16-minute flight. Uh, Thought it was pretty good, but the current draw seemed to be a lot more than uh, what they were saying on the website. And that's because I had the prop on back to front. So it flies, still flies very well with the prop on back to front. But now I've got it on the right way. Much more efficient. There is a bit of wind up there, so... Uh, we'll go... It's sort of flying straight into the wind now, I think. But it will cruise around on uh, two or three amps on a calm day. It's going downwind now, gets a bit wobbly at that sort of low speed, low cruise speed. So let's go a bit quicker. Four or five amps, and it's it's ripping around nicely. Cool little plane, so uh, practical and versatile, easy to work on because of all the space, all the easy access, easy to break down and pack away in a backpack, well sort of, the length is a bit bit much I suppose, but uh, you can easily pull the wings off um, and, and transport it easily. Don't know if the RSSI is size, right. Cruise off down the coast a little bit. Beautiful. What a great little plane. This is uh, perfect. Anyway, better stay closer to home. There's a little plane there somewhere, so I'll fly low. I'll bring it in land while this light plane is nearby. 
yeah, this is this is great. This is working really well. Oh, the light plane's a long way away, so there's no drama. So yeah, working really well so far. Uh, flying around beautifully on on acro and uh, just behaving really nicely. Um, could possibly for uh, I haven't done any tuning at all. This is just sort of stock. Uh, actually, I increased the elevator feed forward a little bit. I think just so I had enough to. Um, be safe uh, but yeah auto tuning and auto trimming and all that sort of stuff will make it fly even better but it's absolutely perfect as it is so I might just cruise around a bit more and uh, take in the scenery this is what it's all about cruising off out to uh, investigate the islands Wow, excellent. Throttle disabled. So average efficiency is 78 milliamp hours per kilometer. So far I've used uh, 692 milliamp hours. Still got plenty of battery left. So excellent, uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, super efficient um, cruising and uh, you can go places fast. You can carry twice the amount of batteries that I've got in here. This is only one 4S. Uh, 18650 pack just a, a really nice unique practical uh, easy to fly uh, yeah just a really good little plane of course it comes from Finwing uh, XU wing who, who bought us the Alba bird and uh, and that is such a good plane and and this sort of uh, takes all that they've learned from the Alba bird and puts it in a smaller package um, very very efficient just wonderful I really like the expert and I think it's going to be very popular. Thanks for watching.